I'm amazed. I can't wait for you to narrate a tour for me. Okay, show mom the different parts. Bar screen. First stop. This is so pipe. Um, oh my god. Um, the bar screen removes the big solid material from the water. Then it flows into the grit chamber where the small fit. Zara removed. This is the grit which chamber? Is called, yes, which is called grit. Then it flows into the primary clarifier, which removes most of the scum and sludge. Right. Uh, see, see the big blades on the, on the top and bottom? Those take away is a scum and sludge. Then it flow then the wastewater flows into the aeration basin. Where's the aeration basin? It's it's this. Where bacteria work to clean up the the rest of the sludge. And there are nozzles that squirt tiny air bubbles and so, so the bacteria can get oxygen. What then kind it, of bacteria does that make it? It's called a, aerobic bacteria. Then, then the wastewater flows into the um, secondary clarifier. Um, where the rest of the scum is removed. And that, is that this, the secondary clarifier? And there's more scum blades there, but not, not as it, but not, but there's no sludge blades there as in the secondary, um, primary clarifier. And what's this after the secondary clarifier? That's the disinfection basin, where any more harmful microorganisms are removed from the water, and then it and then it goes right before it goes from from the to the outfall, which is where. It, gets returned into the waterway. It goes, most plants have advanced treatment where there are simple, me there are some simple methods and they're more complicated. But that is what is usually the last stage in a wastewater treatment plant. And then what happens to the wastewater once it's treated? Um, it flows back into the waterway. What happens there in that in that tank is any more chemi the chemicals in the water are removed. There, you you could use filters, chemicals, bacteria. It there are very few methods though. And who's this guy? I want to put that in the video. <laughs>